We about to set somebody free today. The only time when Jesus is asleep or silent. Now, why would Jesus be asleep or silent? Hmm. Let's look at it. Matthew 9 and 20. It says, suddenly a woman who suffered from a bleeding for 12 years came up behind and touched the fringe of his cloak. We know that one far too well. Verse 21, for she said within herself, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Hmm. We'll come back to that. Mark 4, verse 38. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, teacher, don't you care that we are going to drown? Verse 39, when Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, silent, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Of course, it in Matthew, Matthew, you know, we're saying we are about to perish. Luke, we are in jeopardy. <laughs> and also in uh, Mark, we just said that. Do you need God to heal your situation? Hmm. What does heal mean? Heal of a person or treatment cause a wound, injury, or person to become sound or healthy again. Alleviate a person's distress or anguish. I'm going to say that again because this is what somebody needs to do. Alleviate a person's distress or anguish. Luke 8.43. Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who has spent all her livelihood. That's all her money on physicians and could not be healed by any. Can you imagine this woman spent 12 years? She was very, she had a lot of money. She spent all this money trying to get the help that she needed. Verse 44, she came from behind and touched the border of his garment. Mm, mm, mm. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. Verse 45, and Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitudes thrown, was it, thrown and press you. And you say, who touched me? 46. But Jesus said, no, somebody touched me. For I perceive power going from me. She touched him and power left. Jesus was silent. Verse 47, now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. Verse 48, he said to her, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. It was her faith. So I ask you today, what is your faith? Do you need faith? The reason why Jesus would be sleep or silent in your situation. It's because he's waiting on you to say it. If you look at the story when they was in the back of the boat, do you really think that Jesus would allow them to die? Think about it. You think he would have went to sleep? That's why if you read down there, he says that, listen, y'all could have did the same thing I did. They was like, who is this? Think about it. Jesus was like, why y'all wake me up? I was comfortable. You think I was just going to get on a boat and go to sleep and we die? Hmm. So it's time for us to rebuke the sea, rebuke the storm. Romans 4, 17, it says, call those things as though they already were. You just got to say it. That's the only time Jesus would be sleep or quiet. Just like with the woman with the issue of blood. So many people, so many people he have healed and stuff like that. And she looked at it. She ain't had nothing else left. And that's where some of you are at right now. You ain't got nothing else left but to depend on Jesus. Yeah, let people say, oh, well, I don't believe in this person. Try for yourself. If he don't work out like you think, then continue doing what you're doing. Obviously, this woman spent 12 years, so she must have had some money. 12 years to be spending trying to go to physician after physician, traveling probably at far places. You know, well, this physician didn't do this. I'm going to go do this. She had nothing else to lose. Why don't you try Jesus? She had nothing else to lose. I'm telling you. I'm going to just give you a little story of what he um, did for me. You know, uh, 
my daughter got hit by a truck one day and um she was in a different city. Mom put me on the phone, you know, she's with her mom and she was crying. And I said, God, take the pain out her arm and put it in my arm. And I began to pray and my arm began to tingle. And I asked my daughter after she got done, was she okay? And the pain before was making her cry. And she stopped crying. She said, Daddy, but it still hurt. They did an x-ray later on, found out nothing was wrong. The pain in my arm went away. People can say what they want to say. You know, and yeah, some people are like, well, I'm not going to believe because they try to make him a white Jesus or whatever like that. It don't matter. Try Jesus for yourself. That's a trick of the enemy. It don't matter because at the end of the day, someday it says every tongue shall confess, every knee shall bow. And then they'd be like, you know, what? well, we invented the letter J. You know, the letter J was invented. If you look up, some some alphabets, they just left it out. They omitted it. But it was a translation. So from Jesus, it was Yeshua. But I'm just saying, try, try him for yourself. Call on him. Tell him you want him in your heart. I'm telling you some things have changed. We ain't talking about what other people are saying. Try him for yourself. Go ahead and try him and see. I mean, think about it. Regardless if you believe my story or not. I know it's true. I would not want anybody's child to feel what my daughter felt that day. But I thank God and I thank Jesus for helping me because that's what he's here for. And I know he's real. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've seen him do some some mighty things in my life. I can tell you story after story. That's why I do what I do because he tells me to do this. I'm just here to be a vessel. I'm just a vessel to be used by God for God as he sees fit. So my page will always promote the name Jesus Christ. I know some people say, oh, well, yeah, you know, and Christ was not his last name, but they just call him the Christ. But at the end of the day, I believe in Jesus. So I'm telling you, just try him out and see. And if he becomes real in your life, just ask him to say, if Jesus, if you're real, show me, become real in my life. But just like the text said, he was reading it. He was asleep. Only time we sleep is when we supposed to speak some things. That's why it says, call those things as though they already were. I'm telling you, he's trying to make a difference, you know. And so many people go to coping mechanisms that are unhealthy. We're not going to talk about which ones. We're just going to say it. Just going to say it. There are so many coping mechanisms, and they don't work. But he definitely can complete you. I'm telling you. You know, that's why relationships fail, because they look for somebody to complete them. And I was never the object of a relationship, you know what I'm saying? When you're trying to find companionship, you know, but to complete you, because if they leave, then what? Do you just, you just die with them? No, only Jesus can complete you. And there's certain areas that only he can touch in your heart. You know, I thank God there were some, you know, some tough times in my life. Only thing family members could do is just pray for me. So I'm definitely appreciative of that. But like I said, speak those things. Try it out and just say, you know, Jesus, I thank you. That's all it is. All you got to do is ask him to come into your heart. Warm it up. Some people have, you know, maybe on this like, you know what? I've been done so wrong. I've been wrong by family members. I've been wrong by people. I never thought I've been left. I went through a divorce. So I did this or, you know what I'm saying? He knows all that. That's why he's here to help you. And he'll do that. <laughs> Because he loves you that much that he would die on the cross for you. And even have to think about it. He had to die for people that would never, ever believe in him until the last day on earth. Their last day on earth. Now believe it. But he did that because he wanted to save everybody. So, so, and, and don't. Don't look at people playing church. There are some real true people out here. But there are some ones that was was playing. So I just want to say that. Um, just understand that know that I love you. I'm, I'm praying for you. I'm here for you. And I want to see you prosper. Like I want to see you uh, make it. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to say that. Um, and it's a pleasure. If you're reading this, I really appreciate you. I thank you. 
Do you think you might, might not might not mean much to you, but it means to me that you took the time out to look at this. And for all those that come to my inbox and ask uh, for advice or or uh, perspective on this or that, I appreciate you as well. And for all those that ask me to pray for them, because obviously you believe that there's some real people out here. Love y'all. God bless.